Have you been wondering how you can mount a realistic bike? Don't worry, in this tutorial I'm going to cover you up and give you all the steps on how to make your bike look realistic in Blender. And if you're willing to follow through I get all the references and the sources I need for this video, you can click the link in the description to get your home copy. And if you're willing to get some other sources, I give a link of where I downloaded my references which is from sundaybike.com i hope you enjoyed this video and if you have any patient or any complaint you can give the comment in the comment box welcome to 3d art nation and before we start the modeling you know we have to bring up the um the background image which i've already downloaded so press n and bring up the background image hard image then go to open i have mine at the blender file here then bms bike then have it at images then we'll be using this so as you can see now here we are on perspective so just go to autograph and then we have one which is the front view, but we're not going to be using the front view, rather we'll be using the right view. Then we select the view from half view to right view. And then I like opacity to be at seven. Then as you can see, so we can collapse this page. As you can see here now, we have this cube, but we're not going to be using this cube, rather we'll be using a cylinder. A cylinder, and this cylinder here now is aligned to the view. So we have to deselect it and the vertices we have here is going to be 16, 32 is much. So we can collapse this also by pressing T. So let's go to edit mode and go back to wireframe. So we will take this. So let's bring it down. Then S on Z axis to select it like this. Then we can go all the way to this side and rotate it. See now, we we'll rotate it and we got this. Let's rotate it a little bit more. Then we got this. So Alt S to scale it down a little bit. Then see this side. We have to make sure it reach this side. So if I to press G to disrupt our setting, so what you just do is double tap the D. And as you can see, if you are going to the handing here, it's collapsing. So just press C on the move back a little bit, press C and then bring it up all the way here. Then this also, we do the same thing, G and C, bring it up all the way here. Then now we have to bring down this, so we'll select everything here and we do Shift D to duplicate it and uh, we rotate. See, the rotation now is not margin well, so what we just need to do here now is select this and move it up here. Move it up here, then come back here and select this also, then move it down here. Let me see, move it down here, like this. Then this one also is not matching so much, so we got this. Yeah, so now what I'm going to do now is since now we've selected the vertices here, so just press Ctrl L to select this and press Alt S to scale it a little bit so as to match with this space. Wow, I think it's looking realistic already. Then we can select this again and bring it down here. I just press the picture, rotate it and Z and like this. So what I'm going to do here now, let's select this and then go to Control here. Then we shift D and rotate, 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 then break it downward. As you can see now, here yeah, it's not looking that much bad, but you have to reduce this. You just press Z, Control. Let's press G twice and bring it down. Then we have to make sure it's aligned with the reference here. Yeah. 
here also line is then we press complete head to select it and press alt s to size it a little bit then it's okay like this then we got to do the last one too here so just what we just need to do is select this you shift d and move this all the way here then we rotate a little bit then alt s to scale it down Let's go. I think it match with the it match. So double G and uh, bring it down here. This one also double G and bring it down here. So now, as you can see, we got this. So what we're gonna do again now is between here we got a uh, something like a hip. So but before we go, let me bring this down a little bit so now we go to object mode and then we had a cylinder so now shift a then a cylinder so don't worry you can just bring it down like this because we're gonna have system viruses there and then scale it down scale it down scale it a little bit more like this, I think like this is okay. Is okay like this. So now we got this. So now we just S on X as this and leave it like this. So now what we need to do again is to come up with this and this. And to do that, what you just need to do is uh, just select one vertices here and press Shift D to copy it and to duplicate. And bring it all the way here from this starting point here then we press E to extrude extrude all the way down here so now since we got this what we're gonna do is select this and this then press W to add subdivide subdivide then we got to number of chords up to five then collapse it already again then now we have this one. <laughs> this one we got now. I think we just bring it too much. Yeah. yeah, it's much here. So now what we're gonna do is what we're gonna do now is this. We select we select the first one, then bring it out, select the second one, bring it out, this time. Just need to do this manually because the reference for this is not too sure. So I just do it by myself manually. I think we have to bring some other places out like that. Yeah. I think now it look over. Sorry. Yeah. So what we're gonna do now is to duplicate this, select it, then shift D to duplicate it on each here. Just rotate all the way like this and after the rotation this we get rid of it pressing delete the vertices then this we just bring it down a little bit there and this one here we have to make sure it's merge this line align with this line and there uh, what we're going to do now is to adjust this one also because they're not the same so so we could just do this, 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 uh, and bring it out a little bit. Bring it out a little bit. This one also bring it out a little bit. So now we got this. Or something like this. Then we select this balance, then we go to three, and we extrude all the way in here. And by doing that, we got this. 
and this also sorry you could just select this two and bring it in a little bit oh, a little bit out there like this and select this a little bit out and uh, this a little bit out so now we got this as you can see but this now what we're gonna do here now is uh, we have to select this so now we got a problem and the problem we got now is this so i have to separate this and this this from this so to do that you know we borrow half from this place so let's go back to this view then we select this then press ctrl l then we got p selection so now we we'll select it now so we only have this then we press alt c and convert it to curve after you convert it to curve you have this then you come back and from this app we got a full then let me enlarge this a little bit then this depreciation to get it let's go to z then you just increase it a little bit I think 65 65 is enough 65 is enough then this revolution I think c is okay since we give all the c system viruses we have been using for the many cylinder so now I think so I see now we got this and since now we got this what we we'll just do we go to alt c again and then we convert it to mesh by converting to mesh we just go to add modifier and then we bring up mirror but the mirror here now is not aligning well. What you just need to do is press Ctrl A, and then apply rotation and scale. By applying that, we got this. We got this. So again, what we got to do now is let's edit it. What just gives a little this there. A little bit. Just a little bit to make it look realistic. Ah, so now this is what we're gonna do here. I think it's okay like this. It's okay like this. So let's go to three, the right view. And then we just bring this in a little bit then in this yeah so now we can also bring it out a little bit also in this place a little bit so by doing that we got this and uh, I think it look oh yeah. so now what we're gonna do again is Let's go to 3D here. And within here, we normally have uh, there is a breaker here. So, what we're just going to do is uh, I'll leave that later. And this, I copy this. So, let's go to 3D here. Then, as you can see here, it's a little bit flat here. So, what we're just going to do is uh, add look cut here and a look cut here bring it down all the way here then select this and then select this then we go to one press one to front view then press s on s as this then we bring it down all the way oh sorry but that is it so I have it like this so we select the second one too just Bring it down a little bit, then press S and Z. Bring it up also. Then we had another look cut to sharp it up. Sharp it up now. Yeah. Wow, that look great. So now what we just we're gonna do is to bring up this thing. So we just select one of these vertices and press Shift D. You see? So we bring it down here, then we extrude. Here, let's do it all the way here. Let's do it all the way here. Let's do it here. 
Let's do it here. Let's do it. 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 Look, I'm just here. It's like this on this because okay, sorry, it's on this. This on this back, so this does this over here. <laughs> now press F and this is this. Okay, it's on here. <laughs> so now, what we're gonna do is just select all these viruses here and press F to make a face. Then we press I to inside the face and we go to the front view. The front view just can get out a little bit. So to do that, select all. Then we go to the front view and bring it out a little bit. Then extrude. So like this. Okay, let's go to Z uh, to see what we're doing. So let's select everything here and bring it back a little bit here. I think it look great now. Yes, it's all the way here. I think it looks great now. So what we're gonna do again now is see now. So now we've got this frame. And the frame look so realistic. And let's before we go, let's bring this. See now, press this and uh, press this. Sorry, to do that we have to go to edges. Then select this and select this. So press E. Then we press or S. Start out as then as sorry, out as again, enlarge it out, then press E again, deselect, then press out as to scale it down. So, what we're going to do here now is select this and adjust it a little bit. Select this also, adjust it a little bit. And after doing that, see, we have the frame. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you do, make sure you subscribe and turn on your notification button.